Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of what is Rhinoceros 3D, Rhino 3D or Rhino. Alright, so basically if you come across someone who asked you have you used the software that uh, models uh, using Rhino, so what it meant is this one, alright, this, this software that we will be demonstrating along the, the many videos that's going to come. So what is Rhino in, in actual fact? It's, um, it is a NURBS uh, modeling software. It does uh, curve surfaces uh, in general, but then the solids are also surface solid. I'll explain to you in a while. And of course, there is no limits to the complexity. All right, so I hope that you have a good hardware, uh, good enough hardware, all right? At the same time, it does import and export uh, pretty much all kinds of 2Ds uh, and 3D formats that uh, it's available to you. So to start with, I will uh, double click this and uh, on the viewport title and go straight to the viewport perspective. Alright, so I hope you have downloaded this file. Uh, you can run this file together and understand what uh, these points, curves, and the examples that I have shown on the screen. Alright, so points, uh, basically points are it's uh, inserted or you can import points. Okay, points generally are inserted for a definition, like uh, a, s a specific thing that you probably might want to do. So if you want to talk about the points then basically sometimes we want to connect points together okay so these are the purpose maybe okay just just to show you a quick example what does points do in general okay so points we talk about points and curves uh, there is a different kind of curves that is interpolate curves and control point curves uh, right on this series here so what does these curves do? It helps to, um, of course, design uh, your 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 shapes uh, in the manner that you want. Of course, these curves can be also be manipulated uh, in their own control points. Uh, you have standard shapes you want. Um, it comes from uh, on the left two bars that uh, you can look for it. So these are all your curves points, curves, how about surfaces, uh, in terms of the word surfaces, surfaces is basically um, derived, all right, generally derived from using a series of curves that performs uh, the commands together, all right, I'm just going to undo this, so this is a single surface, single surface oh by the way um, if you need to try this and where to turn on the gumball uh, the one that you could see the three arrows all right it's right at the bottom of your screen uh, it says gumball you can turn it off or you can turn it on all right so I'm just gonna undo this so this is surface uh, interestingly, this is also, we could call this single surface. However, this is also a closed solid object um, because it hasn't got any opening at all. It's a complete close. Uh, I could turn on render to, to let you see it's a complete close. However, the single surfaces are basically there's no thickness. Okay, it's just one piece of, uh, just imagine a piece of paper cut out and you ban it. Alright, so this is a closed single surface. Alright, so I'll explain that in a while. What does that do too? However, we call this uh, solid surface too. Okay, so closed solid objects. Let's move on. What can Rhino also do? Uh, Rhino can perform 2D tasks like the hatch. Okay, hatching, we can do dimensioning. Uh, we can do basic drawings, we can do uh, line types as well. Okay, so uh, some of the folks that we understand that they use Rhino to do these uh, configurations, uh, basic 2D drawing. All right, so from here, we can see that uh, we can perform basic annotation as well. 
all right basic annotation dimension so far of course we can print all right print in paper print in pdf export um, yes you can uh, let's move on to the last three yep so this is open surfaces poly surfaces all right open poly surfaces uh, compared to surface uh, surface is a single piece of um, item altogether uh, this is a single piece of item however poly surface is a single item but made up of many surfaces take for example if i were to explode this all right explode and i can pick on them and i move them out all right so these are poly surfaces they are made up of many items that uh, come together as one so we name them as poly surfaces okay open is just because it is not close it is not close it is uh, open okay so let's move on this however is a extrusion boolean operation what what we meant is um we could draw a 2d outline i'm just going to shift this aside you can draw this 2d outline and perform a very basic extrusion task all right so this is basic shapes extrude uh this is basic shapes cut out so I could have uh, basic shapes. Just gonna draw a quick diagram of this. I'll turn on my gumball and move it in up this way. I could say solid difference. This subtract this this so I can move this away and you can see these are basic uh, modeling methods that we Rhino could also do, All right? So last of all, uh, this is meshes. We could import meshes in as well. Uh, we could control meshes. Uh, we could, a bit of pattern, we could repair meshes in a simpler way. There's a mesh command right here. Uh, Rhino allows repair. All right, we turn these shapes into mesh as well before we export. So uh, in the big picture, it's uh, we could do points, curves, surfaces, closed surface, all right, uh, dimensions, open poly surface, extrusion boolean, and meshes. So in a long run, we could uh, look after all the requirements uh, if you were to use Rhino to do all your modelings. So I hope these terms are familiar to you eventually uh, because they will be mentioned uh, in the further uh, the videos that we will be probably working on. All right, thank you.